Douglas had returned from what would be his final bout with the Midnight Goods. Usually I can take a wee row, but those mainland easels really had a go at me this time. I don't know what might have happened if my guard hadn't shooed them away. I'm so sorry, Douglas. You were very brave to stand your ground. Bear and Boko heard the commotion from their shed. Poor Douglas. I wish the diesels across the bridge would show our friends some respect. It'd certainly give us less to smooth over afterwards. Remember when that really stuck up diesel passed through? I remember when he passed through our shed. (laughs) (laughs) Or my old friend, 199. Had he been less conceited, he might have shared this shed with us. Just then, Sir Topham had arrived. I'd like another engine to take the midnight goods for a while. Can you do it, Bear? Of course, sir. Bear said his goodbyes to Boko and left to make the necessary preparations. And late that night, he set off to the mainland. He made good time and dropped the trucks off in a siding. To his relief, none of the other diesels gave him any trouble for being the one from Sodor. That is, until he passed through a lonely scrapyard. Who are you? Uh, I'm Bear, the number three diesel engine on the island of Sodor. What What is your your business business here? here? I'm just... just passing through. I came here to deliver a late night goods train. Just Just passing passing through, through, eh? eh? Well, Well, if you're you're just just passing passing through, through, perhaps perhaps you can do do something something for me. me. I'm sorry, but I don't take orders from some talking building. If that's what you are. What? That's That's not not what I am. am. Don't Don't be ridiculous. ridiculous. I'm the yard manager. Before you're cleared to leave, I need you to do me a favor. Bear didn't like the sound of that, but chose to oblige. He agreed to move a rusted old diesel from a lonely siding back to the lonely scrapyard. Bear felt uneasy. The diesel, despite being so worse for wear, looked familiar to him. He sounded familiar, too. 7101 199? I thought you'd forgotten about me. It's been a long time. What happened to you? What do you think happened to me? I served my purpose and my time ran out. Then I was cast aside. Just like those out-of-date steam engines should be. Those out-of-date steam engines are my family now. They could have been yours too, if you had changed... But what about my family? I lost you the day you made that feeble green bucket out to be a hero. I have news for you, 7101. Their time will run out. And when that happens, your happy ever after will go down with it. Mark my words. Their time will run out when someone stops believing in them. And I haven't. They may not be up to date, but their commitment to their railway is timeless. If you could understand that, then you might not have ended up where you are today. Well, if you truly want to model yourself after those Sodor engines, why not pull a little rescue stunt of your own? Take me home with you. 
prolong my fate. We could ride the rails together again, just like old times. Wouldn't that be nice? 7101. My name is Bear now. Goodbye, old friend. Ever since that fateful night, Bear and Boko took turns taking the midnight goods so their friends didn't have to. And over time, Bear understood that the diesels that didn't like steam engines might just be jealous. <laughs>